Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. Let's start in a lying down position. So make your way to lie down on the yoga mat. Bend your knees. Your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Shavasana before class. And then when you side, palm facing up. Have a slight curve in your fingertips, chin to chest. Soften your face. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment. Couple more breaths. And we're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up and above the head, full body stretch. And we will come to a banana, walking both hands and feet to the right side, as far as you can go. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist, inside foot on outside ankle. Entire body is still on the mat. Feel the length in the left side of your body. One more breath, and we will slowly walk the hands and feet over to the other side of the mat as far as you can go, forming a banana shape. Outside hand, grab a hold the inside wrist, inside foot on the outside ankle. Staying here for a few breaths. Feel the length in the right side of your body. One more breath, and we slowly walk everything back to the center. And then by your side. Bend both knees, wrap your hands around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion, if you like. Covering a big area. Massaging the lower back and sacral. Go the other way, reverse the direction. Slowly come back to center. Drop both knees to the right side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Coming into a gentle spinal twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Left arm on shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. And lost both shoulders, shoulder blades are still on the mat. Hips automatically come soft. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. We're going to stay here for a couple more breaths. Our twisting position helps people to relieve back pain as we strengthen the lower back muscles. One more breath and we will bring both knee to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Right arm on shoulder height. Palm facing down. Turn and look at the other side. Stretching our lower back muscles creating spaces between L4 and L5. Just relax here for a moment. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. From here, we're gonna go into the bridge pose. Knees are bent. Two fists apart, don't open up too much. Walk the heel close to your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. 
If you wish to squeeze the block, place the block comfortably between your thighs. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the hips high, high up, forming a bridge. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high up, and we're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. We're gonna adjust the bridge, lifting the hips higher up, coming on your tippy toes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Fingernails on the floor. All the way is in the shoulder. Regular weights in the head and neck. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong. One more breath. And we're gonna release the arms down by our side. Release the heel down. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine back down. And you can remove your block. Windshield wiper, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall by it fall. The knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come off. Hip release. Slowly come back to center. We're gonna go into a figure four. Right foot on left thigh. Flexing the right foot will protect the right knee. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh. Lifting the left leg up, if you like. Now you can pull the leg close to your body for a more intensive stretch. You can immediately feel the stretch here, right hip flexor. Opening up the right hip joint. Helping people to relieve sciatica condition. If this is too much for you, ease off or lower the left foot back down on the mat. So your choice. Listen to your body always to avoid injury. One more breath and slowly, slowly release the left leg. Switching side, left foot on right thigh. Practicing the left foot will protect the left feet. Lift the hands through the opening, grab behind, the right thigh. Now you can stay here if you wish to extend the right leg and you can pull the leg closer to your body for a more intensive stretch. You can immediately feel it in the left hip flexor, opening up the left hip joint, helping people to release sciatica condition. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. From here, we're gonna straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, going into leg lift. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the right leg up to the sky, using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the right kneecap, point and flex the right foot. Draw a circle in the sky, echo rotation. And reverse. Sliding the hand further up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee, hamstring stretch. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow. Release the right leg back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. 
Repeat on the other side. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up. Use your abs. Don't just swing the leg up and down. Hands behind the left kneecap. Point and flex the left foot. Ankle exercise. Strengthening the ankle joint. Drawing circle in the sky. So let's do a few rounds of this to increase flexibility, mobility, reduce firmness in your ankle joint. Sliding the hand through the upper leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. If you have very tight hamstring, just ease off. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow. We're going to release the left leg back down on the mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Double leg lift. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the ceiling. Hands behind the kneecap, flex the feet. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Continue to stretch hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way. Improving circulation, digestion, sleep quality. Improve your immunity as well. One more breath. We will slide the hand through and up the leg. We'll grab and hold the big toes, lifting. The head chest up. Tailbone automatically comes off. Continue to stretch hamstring. Not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we're going to slowly release the head down. And down by your side. Open up your legs in a big V. Stretching out in the thighs. Opening up hip joint. When you're ready, we're going to scissor the legs. One time in front, one time behind. You don't have to go fast and you do not have to go big. Controlling your movement. Let's do another three, two, and one. Holding on to the big toe or any part of the legs, rocking side to side. Touching down on the floor if you have room. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Slowly come back to center, bend the knee. So now we're in happy baby. Hands on the bottom of your feet, inner arch up, outer arch. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit. And if you like, you can also rock side to side. Continue to massage the entire spine, entire back. Slowly coming back to center. Straighten out the legs. Nice and slow with control. We're going to lower down, but we're not going to lower all the way down. When your legs are one feet off the ground, lifting the hand chest up, coming up on your forearm. We're going to draw the knee close to the body. Extend. Draw the knee close to the body. Go to the right side. Draw the knee close to the body. 
extend the leg to the left side. So we're gonna go from middle to the right. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's right or left. So we're just going side to side. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck. Try your best. Work the core. Let's do one last set here. When you're back in the center position, lower the legs down. And we're gonna lower the upper body down as well. And down by your side. Taking a few calming breath here, bouncing on the legs if you like. Release tension. And if you find that your neck is really stiff, you might be using your neck muscle for this. So we're gonna to try to work on the core. Now when you're ready, we're gonna bend both knees, raise the right arm, roll over to the right side, making a pillow with the right tricep. Taking a couple of breaths here in the fetus position. And when you're ready, use your left arm to push yourself up. And now we're in a comfortable seated position. Taking three breaths here, inhale your arms up, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale down, hands on your thighs. Stretch out the shoulder, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. One more breath, slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen the first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. Chin up, eyes looking forward. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. The other side, shoulder stretch, pull back. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Release, same arm up, lengthen. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. Don't worry if you're not able to bring the fingers together. Slowly release, shake it out. Come into a side bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend towards the right side, bending the lower arm. Top arm is the crescent knee. Feel the length in the side of your body. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, arms up to lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is the crescent knee. Make sure both butts are sitting on the mat. You're not lifting one hip up. Now we're gonna slowly come back to center and we're gonna to come to a twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Turn a little bit of back, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Turning the neck as well. And now we're gonna slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. Continue to massage internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles. One more breath, and we'll slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And release. 
hands on the thighs. Coming into Tasso turn, starting out with a small circle. Gradually, do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way. Reverse, touching all four corners of your space. Now we are slowly coming back to center. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward. Arms off the mat. Neck and spine in one straight line. We're now dropping the head and rounding the back. We want to lengthen. One more breath, slowly walking the hands back. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hip. Top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're gonna do it a few times. In your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between word breaks. Slowly, slowly, come back to neutral spine. Swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale, the center, egg center, over the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, one more side, and inhale, and then exhale. Following a C-shape in your spine, let your hip drop. Slowly come back to center. Take your time, and we're gonna lower down on our stomach for back extension. Legs are hip width apart, palm of the feet on the mat. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically come soft, hands by your chest. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands soft, kneecaps up, looking down to protect your neck. Strengthening the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Two more breaths, and we're gonna slowly release everything down. Extend your arms forward. We're gonna come to a Superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, arms off, leg and thigh off. Reach into opposite direction. Looking down to protect your neck. Staying here for a few breaths. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly and gently release everything down. We're gonna go into locus, so swing your arm behind your back. Interlace the finger, pull the knuckles towards the heels. Modification, arm by your side, but not touching the body. Lifting the hand chest up, leg and thigh off. Staying here for a few breaths. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly release everything down. Arms are in T, going into crocodile. Left cheek on your mat. Legs are apart as far as the mat. Bending the right knee, draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat 
As we stretch out the left side of your neck and opening up the right hip. So just relax, couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Stack your hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wiper. You can either have forehead down or chin down. Feel the slight movement in your lower back. Loosen up. All the poses lying down your stomach, Strengthen the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Two more breaths, and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Bending the right knee, pop the left leg up on the right foot. You can either continue to have chin down or forehead down. This is a form of scorpion. One more breath and slowly release. Repeat on the other side, bending the left knee, pop the right leg up. Now make sure you're not on the knee joint. So place the left foot either before or after the knee joint. One more breath, slowly. Slowly release, sway side to side. Loosen up, release tension. And then we're gonna go into a bow. Grab hold of one ankle or both ankle. Take the feet into your hand. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, thigh up, bottom of your feet towards the sky, if you like. You can roll forward, backward, side to side, massaging internal organs. Those who can only do one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. Switching side after a few breaths. Now we are massaging internal organs. And if you have a lot of bloatedness in your stomach area, perhaps releasing gas as well. Now we're gonna slowly roll back to the center position and release. Set yourself up for the seal. Open up your legs, mat foot. Spread all your fingers, come up on your forearm. Elbows will be shoulder straight. Shoulders relax down from your ears. Eyes looking forward. Now you can stay here. If you wanna push yourself up higher to the hand level, Go ahead. Now this is a more extreme back bend. If this is too much for you, please lower back down on your forearm. So listen to your body always to avoid injury. One more breath and we're gonna slowly and gently release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, we're gonna go crocodile on the other side. So legs are ready apart, arms are in T, shoulder height, right cheek on your mat. Bending the left knee, draw it close to the left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. Just relax, staying here for a few breaths. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back to the center of the mat. And we're gonna get ready to come up to a child pose. Child pose is the counter pose of back extension. 
knees apart, big toes to touch. Sing the hip down onto the heels, walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, forehead down. Try to sit back on your heels as much as you can. If you're not able to sit back because you have very tight joint, you can rest the forehead on stack hands, stack fists, or on your block. And that will be easier for you to sit back. Lengthening the spine, massaging internal organs, opening up hip joints, ankle joints, massaging the third eye, calming your mind for a moment. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly pushing up. Now we're going to get ready to come up. So when you're ready, we're going to be doing down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming in to a down dog. Upside down letter B. Pushing the mat away. Shifting half of your weight towards the legs to minimize impact on your wrist. Now we're going to walk forward towards the hands. And now we're in a forward bend. Dangle here for a moment. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Not sticking the butt out. Lengthening the spine. Stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. We're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're going to go back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting the chin up. Shoulders and hips are level. Feel the pinch of your shoulder blades. Opening up lung heart chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. A movement exercise. Big toes to touch. Heels slightly apart. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. Inhale your arms up. Palm touch. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on mat. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side and down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle or index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Release the head down. Eyes are located at your toes, knees are belly button. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to the flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Palm touch. Back bend. And then I'm down with your side. Into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on that. Step or hop back into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. 
Inhale, cobra on the exhale, chidanda. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high, high up. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Low lunge on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. If you need knee pad, side this up. Square the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding onto your big ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Engage your arms. Shoulders are relaxed. Eyes looking up. Place the palm together. Release index finger. We're going to inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the left hip flexor. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Come into a twist. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Turn a little bit back. Stabilize yourself. Looking at the back. One more breath. Slowly release. Left hand down. Right arm up. Reach for the sky. Open up the hand, look at the top of the thumb. One more breath, and we slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Coming into the dragon or listen. Rocking forward, backwards. Opening up the right hip joint. Those who can come down the forearms and up on the back toes, go ahead for more intensive stretch. One more breath here. Slowly, slowly release. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for a twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you can come up on the back toes, go ahead. Open up the arms to challenge yourself. So on this side, your modification. Stomach not resting on your thigh. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. If you're not able to sit on your ankle, just come sit down. Inhale the left arm up, we lengthen. Exhale, we hitch. Lay them on the chest, holding on to any part of the left foot or toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Right half string. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. Come in to see the twist. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to the body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands. Thread the front hand through the tunnel. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. Turning the neck as well. One more breath and we're gonna slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Coming on your forearm, more room to twist. As we stretch our lower back muscles, Opening the side of your back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. 
straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. And now we're in this back pose. Arms by your side, point your toes up to the ceiling. Shoulders relax down from the ears, eyes looking forward. When you're ready, we're gonna do about double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinging forward, grow longer. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. So we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So make your way to the top of the mat. We'll do a flow here. Now we're gonna come to down dog, spread all your fingers, lift your hip high, high up. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees, like mountain climbing. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Inhale, come forward to plank. Not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. One more time. Inhale, come forward to high plank. Exhale to down dog. Right foot down, left leg up. We're gonna step the left leg forward towards the left hand. Right knee on the mat. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Engage your arms. Eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. If you need knee pad, use your knee pad for the right knee. Place your palm together. Release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend. Looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. One more breath, slowly release. Right arm forward, left arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly, slowly release. Right hand down, left arm up. Rigid stretch, looking up. Slowly release the top hand. Both hand on the big toe side. Walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Heel toe, heel toe. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot. Rocking forward, backwards. Side to side to open up the left hip. If you can come down the forearm and up on the back toes, go ahead. Neck is long, spine is straight. So we're not dropping the head. Continue to rock forward backwards, opening up the left hip. If this is too much for you, feel free to push yourself back up to the hand level. One more breath and slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. We're gonna get ready for the twist. Turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you can come up on the back toes. Lift the heel high, high up. Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. Any variation, 
you like to challenge yourself. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. If this is where you are, stay here. If you can come sit down, go ahead. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up. We lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward. Leading with the chest. Holding arm to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale the lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Bend the chest. Leg is long, spine straight. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly carry that back. Coming into a seated twist. Bring the bend leg on the outside of the straight leg. If you can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. If this is too tight, straighten out the bottom leg. Make sure both butts are sitting there. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to your body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Feel free to bring the front arm over to make a stop sign hand, prayer hands, allow you to feel the resistance. Let's start the lower back. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body. To the opposite side. Bow down. Counter twist. Bending the elbows. More room to come down. Front foot is on the mat. We're stretching our lower back muscles. Stretching oblique. The side of the body. One more breath. And slowly, slowly pushing. I'll start back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. We're going to set ourselves up for the boat pose. Get the flesh part out from your butt. Bend your knees. When you're ready, lift your feet off the ground. Now you can hold on for support or you can let go. Bouncing on your sitting bones. Staying here for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to bring the sole of our feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle. Rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly. Flap about 10 times. Opening up hip joint. Stretching out inner thighs. Draw the heel close to you. Grab a hold of the big toe or the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, hinge. Leading with the chest. Leg is long, spine is straight. We're not dropping the head or rounding the back. Continue to open up hip joint. A little bit of discomfort in your inner thighs. One more breath. Slowly, slowly, come back up. Bring the knees together. Wrap your hands around your knees. Make yourself small. We're going to lift the chin up and head back. Exhale, chin to chest. Do it a few times. Both ways, we're stimulating thyroid gland. Release tension at the back of your neck. Decompressing the spine. Creating spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral. Windshield wiper. Next, the hip width, hands behind you, 
Finger facing the same way as your feet. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Now we're gonna open up and drop both knees to the right side. Forming a 90 degree here, 90 degrees. So you adjust the angle. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here. Quarter side hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. So listen to your body. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. From here, we're going to go into the gate pose, extending the top leg. So grounding the top leg, spread out your fingers, align the wrist with the shoulder, use your strong core to lift your hips off the ground. Top arm up. Now you can stay here. If you want to make it a balanced pose, lift up the top leg, either point or flex, that will engage the top leg. Make sure you don't have any issue in your wrist, elbows, shoulders, or knee. When you have enough of it, slowly, slowly release. Now we're gonna come back to windshield wiper a few more times. Release any tension that you may have. And when you're ready, drop both knee to the other side. Forming 90, 90, make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here, quarter up hip joint. Looking at the opposite side. Now, when you're ready, we go into the gate pose. Strain out the top leg. So we're grounding the top leg. Spread all your fingers, wrist, shoulder align. Use your strong core and the straight leg to lift your hips off the ground. Coming into the gate pose. Top arm up. Looking up. Now you can stay here. If you want to make a balanced pose, lift up the top leg. Either point or flex. That would engage the top leg. And slowly, slowly release. Come back down. Now we are in a comfortable seated position. Take a couple of calming breaths here. Stretching out the forearm, palm facing me, fingers facing down. Lengthening the forearm. Opening up energy channel. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. And then fingers facing up. Slowly release, shake it out the other side. Forearm stretch, palm facing knee, fingers facing down. And then we're gonna go fingers facing up. Slowly, slowly release. Using a cupping hand, we're gonna tap all the way from one side to the other side. So make sure you form a cup of your cupping hand and we're gonna tap. Now we're tapping, we're not hitting. Going on the outside of the arm. So continue to stimulate meridian points, acupuncture points, increase immunity, circulation, energize the body. And we're gonna go on the inside of the arm. So relax the arm that is being padded. Go all the way across, and we go on the inside of the arm. Now, just make sure that we are patting, tapping, and we're not hitting. Just one, two, increase circulation into the body. Now, we're gonna do a few times on the eye of the elbow, cupping hands. And then we're going to go to do the armpit, lymphatic drainage. Switch inside, eye of the elbow first. So relax the arm that is being padded. And armpit for lymphatic drainage. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. And we're gonna go and massage our neck and shoulder. So if you like, you can just 
gently. Tap, tap, tap. Pack up the neck and shoulder area. So it's like a do it yourself massage. Gentle. The other side. I'm going to use opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Slowly, slowly release. So to end the class, we're going to do lion breath, where we open up our mouth and stick our tongue out. And we're going to work on the jaw mechanism. So when you're ready, let's begin. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. So that brings us to the end of the class. So bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your positive energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.